On the table, there is a lot of monster today. Treasure X Monster Gold is on the table most excited for. Hey everyone, it's Dan today at Squirrel Stampede. Look at this, Treasure X, an all new series, Monster Gold, caskets, monsters, spider webs, everything you'd possibly want to collect. Let's get to these, we've got 13 levels of Oh Monster My. Hmm, Squirrel Stampede, please, Squike, squirrel -eyed, and a Squamant. On the table we have two Treasure X Monster Gold caskets. Will you find real gold dip treasure as always? These things are certainly getting bigger and bigger each time, and even the figures it says now, bigger figures, five inches tall. Kind of like the giant sized figures of before, maybe. This time we're searching through spiderweb, that's gonna be just fantastic. Also here on the back, 13 levels of adventure. Kind of reminds me of the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo or something. Six monsters to collect, I don't even know how we're opening this casket yet. By the way, what happened to you, big gray squirrel? I'm a squummy. A squummy. That's new. I also see Ninja Squirrel. And is that Barry as a Galarian Ratatat? The one and only. And who's the Timber Wolf? That's just Timber from Snake Eyes. He's hanging out with us for the day. He's all right. Okay, okay, let's just get to the monster gold. How am I going to get into this thing is the first question. I think it's just about peeling away all the cardboard and tape and gold fancy packaging. It's really quite pretty. Give me a moment to figure this out. Removing from package must be the 14th level. And maybe the 15th is removing this outer wrapper. Let's get this off. Well, we certainly have once again returned to Treasure X with this fantastic looking tomb. This coffin, this purple Oh, it's drooling with goo and spider webs around. Nicely designed, a flat base, and a new X tool to open up. Looks like a crowbar. And I think that's our first level. Level one, crowbar, crowbar detach, detach method. So we will remove the lid of the great casket monster gold. And all sorts of treasures already revealing themselves. Packages of webbing and other interesting colorful things. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? Ooh, the Almighty, the Almighty haunted, haunted Suction, suction cup. cup. And could be a cardboard insert, yeah. Three, Three removing, removing the, the spider, spider web, web tray. tray. Not a bad little spider web tray, by the way. And now there's even more things in here. What is going on with this casket? I can almost see in there. I see some sort of dead character, possibly. What, though, are we doing? The instructions on the back are a little vague. Where's the guide? Where's the guide? Um... Oh, oh, I think I found it. Oh, yeah, the guide. And there's our new Monster Gold Collection guide. Look at the new monsters. Goldie Slops, Wolfenstein. I like that one. Count. Cologula, what is that? Oh, Count Goldula, I can see it better now. Swap of body parts, create your own. Wolver Bling, Count Blingula, and Gold Swamp, all right. And a variety of glow-in-the-dark treasures to find. Tombstone of Doom, Fish and Bits, all sorts of things. And then the Bling Back Spider. That would be your official gold dip treasure this time. Oh, that is a very interesting Spider-Man. Spider-Man approved. The level instructions though this time still kind of vague. We've got to about step four, five. I'm going to mix some sort of concoction and then spill it into the casket. How that's going to work though, uh, we may just mess up the first one. We'll, we'll try to go as we go, right? Go as we go, that makes squirrelific sense, but here on the back we've got a guide again of the glow-in-the-dark treasure, zombie fly, a little bit of a map, and again the back bling spider down here. Bling back spider, not back bling. Okay, I'm guessing about a cup of water. That usually seems to be a good go size. Of course, I haven't really looked in this package yet. This package may be the key. Let's try opening this up, see. What is in here? Ew. It's 
So this must be the spider's egg sack we were looking at on the back. Oh my. Oh, sticky. Oh boy, super sticky. How am I going to touch my camera ever again? Oh, and there's stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> wow. Are those my lost earbuds? Oh no, those are eyes. Those are eyes in there. I thought maybe Treasure X had gone into some sort of earbud selling business. Um, this is the stickiest web. Okay, so this tray is perfect for this web. We'll just kind of place it in here. Should I have been using my X tool? I might have needed the X tool. Oh my gosh. How do I convey to you how sticky this webbing is? Let's get it on something we can see it a little bit better. This is a perfect recreation of a spiderweb egg sack, and it's so, so sticky and disgusting. Uh, our first creature, I think I found the spider. Oh boy, it is like glued into here. I think it's just a common tarantula, maybe. Oh boy, so there's that. Good luck getting all of this off. We've got eyes though, we've got eyes. And somehow I'll get them out with my Monster Hunter scissors. So these eyes are pretty important. I think they'll go on our character. But it's difficult because my hands are so sticky. They're so sticky. And even the eye is stuck in the pack. My fingers are so sticky, I can't even get it. It's fighting me. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is just terrific stuff. Be very, very cautious and careful with it. It's almost like Elmer's glue in a way. It's just gluey and sticky. Oh, as I get the packaging in it. Oh, my. So we'll just leave this here for a moment. And somehow, oh, you know what? <laughs> just like Elmer's glue, if you are to uh, do the sprinkle method, it kind of comes off your fingers if you do the rubbing method. So that's good. Yay! Awesome. Oh, let's put the eyes over here. Oh no, there it goes. And our bug. Okay, now we've got this going. We're back on track with level, level five, five mixture. mixture. And we have two elements to mix. We've got the aqua blue fizzy package, and we've got the yellow fizzy package. And I uh, guess according to step five, we pour them in at the exact same time. So I've really shook these up. I've softened and unsquished all the powder inside so that they're gonna pour nice and easily into our Monster Gold measuring cup. And we fill in. What is this doing? Oh, now it's fizzing. It's fizzing now. Is it slime? What is it? It's still kind of a green liquid. Anything left in here? Just a little bit. I wonder what the uh, bubbling agent is and what the uh, other agent is. That's for a chemistry lesson, I tell you. Probably most likely green jello <laughs> we created. It might be smart to move you, Barry. I don't want a Galarian Ratatata zombie mixture. And now for level seven, we're going to pour this hideous mixture on top of our coffin spiderweb material and therefore possibly wakening our Treasure X Monster Gold Hunter. Oh my. There goes any sense of keeping my table clean today. Oh wow, I see him. I see it emerging. Oh no, it's moving. Ah! Well, there you go. Oh, it moved again. Oh, quite the awakening. Oh my, that is creepy. That is creepy. Look at this guy. And just the covering of the, the spiderweb sheet just draped over him. Oh, that is terrifically awesome. At first I wanted to say Gold Swamp with the goggles up high, but actually I think this is Count Goldula. Yeah, this is the Count. And the Count has the special glow-in-the-dark qualities to it. So what do you know? It's the Count. Count Goldula. And I couldn't ask for a better Monster Gold 
guy to pull out first. The Count from a Casket, Dracula. That's an absolute perfect first pull. And look at the slimy mess inside this thing. Oh, yuck. But it's contained inside the casket, so that's nice. It's not spilling out of the table, really. I probably will need to do a cleanup here in just a second. Can I remove? There we go. There, removing from the disgusting casket. He's still just covered with toilet paper slime. Very nice, larger scale figure like they were saying, the five inch figures. Oh, wow. All right, so how's everyone's stomachs here? Wow, Ninja Squirrel, I didn't expect you to be squeamish. So I've cleaned up my hunter, he's looking a little better now. All that filmy, papery stuff has been washed off. It takes a while to really clean out that green goo. Also discovered while cleaning out, I don't know why I didn't see this before. It's brain! It's brain, very cool. Kind of encased in a really neat little dome there. So we've gone through level eight now. Level 9 is something we're really going to have to have counseling after. We're gonna bash its brains in. <coughs> oh, this one's for the squooks. So level 9, chipping out the hairpiece and discovering what is inside this dude. Oh, that felt great. Oh my, guys. Oh my. What did we just do? Are we serious today? Is it serious? I picked this up at Target myself personally. This was not a gift in any way. I have landed the rare gold dipped treasure. No way. How is that possible? It is so rare to get this. I think I've had a lot of trouble recently finding gold. You can't make this stuff up! Holy cow, it's the gold spider back bling bling back bling spider bling back spider. It's so hard to get this in focus, it's so shiny. Look at that, it's heavy, it's a way to- ooh, it kinda gooed me for a second. Oh, wow. I am so shocked that we found this today. I had no idea, I, I just pretty much count out the gold now because it's so hard to find. Wow, my first monster gold! I pulled gold! Oh, that is amazing luck. This makes up for my horrible luck in pulling Pokemon cards. I had no idea it would be in there too. You, you can't, you have no idea. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy luck. What the heck? A gold back bling spider. Bling back. I keep wanting to say back bling. Fortnite, anyone? Lots of cool Fortnite stuff, by the way, coming. We may also, for step level 11, Remove this brain. Oh, and it's squishy. It is a squishy brain. Oh, that's disgusting and awesome at the same time. We can remove this brain, Crazy Dave will approve, and then place it inside our monster. So we're gonna re-brainerize, re-brainerize our monster. He's a thinking monster gold now, not just an undead, he's a thinking. And then we can place our Gold dipped treasure, a real gold dipped spider back bling bling back onto this great little display piece. Oh, that is so cool. I'm seriously in shock over this, pulling this on the first monster gold. So level 13 just kind of has this like stand by your treasure and gaze. Ooh, I'll be I'll be doing that pretty much all day, I can guarantee you that. Level 14, we find what happens to the haunted monster suction cup. And that is simply just going to go into the contraption as a way of reactivating your contraption. So we'll place this inside. It's a little tricky there, but you insert down here and then slide up and it will lock into place. This gives the contraption a ability to once again raise the dead. So we can take Count Godila here, perfect name, and re-snap him in, and then lay him back down. And at some point, he'll pop back up and scare the jinkies out of us. But when he'll actually awaken, I'm not really sure. He's still kind of sitting there strong. It was wet in there, so that suction cup is pretty tight. I don't know, what's gonna happen? I don't think he's gonna emerge yet. Oh, you know what, we forgot his eyes. 
there wasn't really a level indicator to tell me to replace those eyes, so I almost forgot. There's an eyeball here, and they've got little socket grooves, so you kind of just place where you need to place. That's one eye. Now he's going to be so much more alive. And our second eye. He's not waking up though. I might need to help him out a little bit. Come on. Oh my goodness, the mouth moves. How did I miss that? Well, he's awakened again. Now even more character to it with the eyes. But look at there, at the bottom of level 12, press in the brain. I've got slime on my finger. Press in the brain. And we've got opening and closing mouth. I, I saw the hinge in there. I just didn't expect this. Pretty much obvious, but for some reason I didn't expect this. And now he's laughing at us. That's great. Why are you laughing at us? I, I worked and tried really hard to get you out of that casket. Come on, dude. Be nice to me. Wow. Well, this was terrific fun. Obviously a little extra fun because of the cold dip treasure. But still, all the stages worked out well. I'm quite impressed with the monster gold this time around. This was fun. Now, a little more expensive because these are a little larger than normal. I think it ran about 20 this time. Or was it 15? I think it was 20, so kind of similar in price to the dragons we saw, the ninja dragons, earlier in the year. Let's clean up and we'll try one more. See what else they can find. Okay, time for our second go around. How's our stomachs, everybody? Ugh. I expected that from the squirrels, but not you, Count Goldila. All right, opening up our second casket. Great box design again by these. Casket removal services, Squirrel Stampede. Who would I like to see next? I'd like to see a werewolf like Wolf Shine or Wolver Bling. And to open up, oh, and to open up. Well, there we go again with our spider web. Oh, right on, I think I have one of the wolves. Inside here we should have our eyes. Oh, what is this today? Oh, so sticky. There's some eyes. Yellow eyes do mean werewolf. And they also mean sticky fingers. Look at this stuff again. I can't stress to you how sticky this is. Oh, wow. Wowie wow. And again, preparing our monster mixture. Trying your best to loosen up the material inside. I wonder if a little bit of my favorite drink will help enhance its power. Now it's looking ultra tasty. So with that, we're ready for level seven and eight, revealing our monster. So excellent indeed, it's Wolf Shine, regular Wolf Shine. I love how rancid these guys are with the wet wrap, the wet spider wrap draped over them, the green goo just dripping from them. So nasty, so very nasty. Can we add on our eyes? Let's do our eyes early this time. Oh, there we go. So we'll remove our monster. And I, I like to clean these up a little bit because they get extra sticky. So give me a second here. All right, Wolf Shine all cleaned up. Look at this guy, so fun. So now what we do, we crack open that great hairpiece. It looks like chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, it looks like chocolate. I would really hate to chip it out though, but I guess we have no choice unless we can kind of work around the edges, but I don't know if that'll happen. We'll give it a try here, right? I'm kind of going here this time. <gasps> Yes, I've preserved it. I preserved the hairpiece. Oh, right on. That is lucky. Oh, it even looks like chocolate underneath even more so. Should I taste it? Oh, no, not chocolate. Not chocolate. So we have found a non-gold treasure, but that is just fine. It is the Glow in the Dark X-Fizz soda. It even has, does that say X-Fizz on it? It's almost very hard to read. I like the little soda can. I think the wolf wiener would also be fun to have. That would be a really funny accessory. All of these though. What's inside our casket again? It's a brain. Now we can make our wolf shine a little smarter. 
It would have been fun to place this up on top. That almost gives a, oh, is that a Gorilla Grodd look? Or who had the, no, the guy from Powerpuff Girls. What's that guy's name again? Oh, it's all escaping me right now. I need those brains in my head. And then we'll put our common treasure right in here for Wolf Shine to gaze upon. Okay, enough gazing. So now that we have two figures, we can do some quick mixing and matching. Let's pop off an arm. How easy is it to pop off an arm? Oh, very easy. How easy is it to pop off a leg? Also very easy. And we'll try an arm switch here. Oh, that one was tight. Oh, the brain went flying. We'll just leave the brain out for a minute. Add uh, an arm. I love the wings on these, by the way, for Count. He's a flyer. And there they are, the two. And we should be able to switch heads, too. Oh, did we do the talking action yet? Hello. What say you? I say I've been in a casket all day. I'm really tired. I'd like a drink of that Mountain Dew Dan has. Yeah, when he's not looking, we'll smash his brains out and take his drink. <laughs> um, so yeah, the headpiece should be removable. Oop. These brains, I tell you, they're so bouncy. And there's our monster mash. So that is a fun, crazy, mad scientist project-like thing. What a terrific monster lab of a day. Gold dipped treasure, no way. Coming up. We've got the Treasure X Monster Gold Mega Monster Lab. Oh goodness me. In a few weeks, we will bring this glow in the dark monster to life. You have to bear with me right now. There are so many toys dropping. I've got to hit Gujitsu Galaxy soon. I've got to hit Ninjago. I've got to hit the new series of minifigure boxes. So it's all over the place. I just located this today. It's incredible. All these chambers, we're building a monster, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be incredible. For now, we celebrate these guys, the gold dip treasure. Real, Real gold. gold. Well, there we go with monster gold. What a collection. The wait is over. These are dropping August, September 2021. I found these two at Target. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamant. Let's talk all about Treasure X. Don't forget the new gaming channel is up. I think we're playing Minecraft again, maybe this week. Very exciting stuff. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.